Guys, welcome to our latest tutorial on how to connect Netlify with Gmail so that whenever you are going to receive a form submission in Netlify, an email will be sent to the form submitter automatically. So guys, Netlify is a cloud-based computing company and you can develop and deploy all your websites using Netlify. And here we are going to integrate Netlify with Gmail so that you can manage and respond automatically to your form submitters. So guys, sit back, relax, grab a coffee and enjoy this video. So we are using Pavli Connect to set up this automation and this is the landing page of Pavli. And I'm going to paste the link of this page in the description as well. And from here you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now from the given link and after that you have to sign in and you will see the Pavli Connect product right here and you will reach the dashboard like this. And from here you have to click on this create workflow button. Here you have to give a name to your workflow so you can give any name. I'm giving the name here as Netlify to Gmail integration. Okay. And after that, click on create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up any automation. So guys, trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow. So it is saying when this happens, action would be the automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So it is saying do this. All right. So here, guys. Uh, in our use case, Netlify's form submission will act as a trigger to this workflow and the automated response would be to send an email to that person who have submitted the form. So first of all, you have to choose the trigger application. So the, that application would be uh, Netlify because in Netlify's form, we are getting the submission. Okay. And the trigger event would be new form submission after that click on connect from here select add new connection and here it will ask for the personal access token of netlify so you'll get the tokens from the applications user settings okay let me show you that so this is my netlify applications dashboard this is a site i am deploying and uh, from here guys you can read in the instructions okay from the profile icon you will get the things from the profile icon, click on user settings. Under user seconds, you will find applications. Under applications, you will find this personal access token option. Here, guys, you can create a new token or you can use any existing token as well. To create a no to new token, you just have to click on new access token button. Here, you can provide a description to this token. I am giving it as Gmail integration. You can provide any other description as well. Then click on generate token and this token will be generated. You just have to copy it and you have to paste it here in this token field and then click on save and you will be connected with Netlify. Okay. So here's how you can connect with Netlify and here then it will ask for your site's name where you have attached or embedded a form. So here you can see guys. I have these applications or website. Let me show you. You can see guys, we have two websites deployed here. And this is the one in which I have a contact form attached. And you can see that from this link. And this is the contact form, a simple contact form just to show you this demo. I have created this. You can create a beautiful form. You can create a more engaging website as well don't see this this is just to show you an example of integration okay right and here now i'm going to select the website's name then you have to select the form's name which is this contact form all right and after that click on save and send test request so it will start showing waiting for the response so this means now you can perform a test submission what does it mean now you have to manually fill the form that you have on your website and submit that form and the date of that form submission will be captured here in this response section and that will act as a test data for us to set up this automation further 
Okay, so let me fill in the form here quickly. So I'm filling the name of the person as demo name. Let the email be demo at the rate Let me fill in this number. And now I'm clicking on submit. And here we can see the form has been submitted. Okay, let's check in our workflow if we got the date of this form submission. Okay, and here you can see guys, we have received the data and it is showing the title as demo name. And here you can see the fields values, the number, the email address, and all the things are captured here. All right, so that's how you can capture the data of any kind of form submission from Netlify. And after that, I want to auto reply to this person. For that, I'm going to use this action step. And here I'm going to connect with Gmail application. Gmail. Okay. And here you have to use the action event as send email. Then click on connect. From here, select add new connection. Then click on connect with Gmail. And from this window, you have to choose that Gmail account from which you want to send the emails. Okay. So I'm selecting that account. All right, then you have to provide some additional access to your account. So just click on continue from here. That is completely safe. You don't have to worry about that. And you can see the authorization is successful now and we'll be connected with Gmail. Okay. And here it is asking for the recipient's email address. So I have received the email address of the form submitter here in this label. And I'm going to map it here in the recipient field because we are sending this email to the form submitter only. So to map the label, just click here and the Netlify or the trigger step will appear here in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will find the data here only. So from here, you can just map the label in which you are having the email. So just map the label. And when you map the labels like this, what will happen after setting up this automation once the labels are going to be updated according to the form submissions automatically and the emails will be delivered to the new form submitters. Okay, that's why it is important to map the labels from this step to this step. Okay, now come to the sender's name so you can enter any name. I am entering Pabli team. Here are the email subject. I'm uh, giving the subject as form submission received. Okay. Sorry for the spelling mistakes if I have any. And here select the email's content type as plain. And here you can fill in the uh, type the email that you want to send to your form submitter. So I'm just putting hey space. And after hi, I want to put the name of the person to whom we are sending this email and I want to happen it automatically. For that, you just have to map the name label from the first step where you have received the name of the person. So for that, after hi, just put your cursor and you will see the Netlify step. Just click on it and map the, the label in which you have the name. Then put a comma, enter. I'm typing the email. Thank you for submitting. our form and now you will receive special offers all right so i am done typing the email and you can see this is the email thank you for submitting our form now you'll receive special hours and exclusive content from our site feel free to reply to this and this is a kind of auto reply email I have written for the form submitters. Okay, who are subscribing to us. Okay, now let's check our connection with Gmail by clicking on save and send test request button. And this email will be delivered to the form submitters email inbox. And I have opened that email inbox here. Now let me show you how it is going to be delivered. Let me click on save and send test request here. This is the response we have received. Now let me show you the email here. We have received a new email and it is showing form submission received. Okay. So here you can see it is from Pavli team. This is the subject. Hi demo name. Thank you for submitting the form. And you can see this is the same email that we have typed here. 
and the sender's name is and the subject is also same everything is same as i have typed here and this name got placed here automatically like this okay so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow after that whenever you are going to receive a form submission on your netlify website these emails will be delivered to the form submitters automatically and guys you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel